Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and uh, Cancer Rising weekly, uh, monthly tarot reading for month of July 2019. And uh, just bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we will jump uh, straight away to the, uh, to the reading. Okay, so the first card which represents the topic for uh, Cancer's month, that is going to be uh, the Seven of Wands, followed by the second card which stands for the peripheral activities that Cancer can take should the Cancer decide that it works the hassle, uh, that will be the uh, Six of Pentacles, followed by the third card which stands for the... Um, challenges that Cancer needs to overcome for throughout the week. This is going to be uh, the Two of Cups. Oops, one second. Then it is the fourth card. <clears throat> the fourth card which stands for the uh, positive aspect of the month. That is going to be the Magician. And then the last one, which is the guidance that Taro is offering to you, Cancer. That will be uh, the uh, Knight of Wands. All right, so once again, seven of wands, it is the topic of your month, followed by, followed by the six of pentacles, which stands for the peripheral activities. Afterwards, we do have the challenge here, which is the two of cups, followed by the uh, magician card, which stands for the positive aspect. And then the last one is going to be uh, the knight of wands, which stands for the guidance. All right, Cancer, so uh, that will be quite a normal month for what I can, uh, for what I can see here. <clears throat> a month where there are going to be some differences in between you and as well a, a significant, a, I would say, person or a, a situation in your life. That is going to be the most, uh, how do I say, influential thing that is to happen. Now, the Seven of Wands here, as the topic itself that uh, the cards are they, uh, divulging, uh, it does stand that this month, uh, it seems that you are going to have a lot of, um, I would say, situation, situations which are tempting, okay? They, they, they are like um, attempting and testing in the same time, while... And uh, while those situations are rather tempting and testing you, it does look like, however, that you're going to have that, how do I say it, acute sense, uh, which one of them to take and as well how to approach a certain situation as well. So what I'm trying to say is that it's going to be very, very difficult either for the people around you or for the, for the situations themselves 
to knock you off your feet. Just like you see here in the in the car, that person really stands his ground and it is what you're gonna do, but the way you're gonna do it is gonna be very elegant, right? It's gonna be very, how can I place it, unique. <clears throat> the accompanied card here is going to be uh, the Four of Wands. The formation, it is a active supporters that we have. So uh, this um, this whole thing, it is due to the, the fact, I mean, um, your ground stand that you are to do, is due to the fact that you are to recognize that your positions right now, not just into your family and as well into your career, but your positions in general in life, are exactly where you're supposed to be. You are going to recognize, you know, how much you possess and therefore taking the uh, necessary measures and actions as well, not to jeopardize it in any way. Uh, <clears throat> with these couple of cards, it also kind of like we do have that glimpse of, um, of understanding that um, th th there is, how can I describe it? A very not important, well, a culmination of a thing is very near, right? And right now you have to stand for what you believe in, which is a pretty normal month, if you ask me. We do have these situations every day where we have to just stand for what we believe in. But this time around for throughout this month, Cancer, it doesn't look like that it's going to be that difficult for you to do so. And even on top of that, like I said, uh, you are going to have that, like I said, acute um, acute sense when and how to act as well. So you're going to have that readiness to jump into action as soon as the uh, window of opportunity uh, presents itself. The peripheral activities here are the Six of Pentacles. And these peripheral activities are going to be involved with other people. As a matter of fact, they are going to be a bit tedious and aggravating. Because there are going to be people who will ask for your help, let's say, uh, let's say or they will want your attention as well. Um, for one or another reason, you know, that could be the co-worker into your career, which wants your help with their project. That could be your neighbor, which as well wants your opinion. And in generally, that will be people who will uh, bother you with their problems. And the tedious fact is going to be that you will know that your contribution is not going to solve their problems. So in other words, what you're going to recognize here is, is that if you try to help them, it's going to be just a waste of your time and their time as well, and on top of that, at the end, is going to turn out to be a disappointment for them also. So let's, uh, to give you an example of it, you know, that could be a friend of yours who have difficulties into their relationship, right? And they ask for your help, or they just ask for you, you know, to listen to what they have to say. That ain't going to solve their problem. It's, it's a waste of your time. It's a waste of their time. They are the only one who can solve the problem into their relationship, right? That kind of a nature of a peripheral activities we do have here. So you have to be very careful, you know, how much time you devote to issues and to um, endeavors in which you simply are not a factor, all right? You, 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 you just cannot do anything there. You just can't, uh, can't solve anything. The accompanied card here is going to be the judgment and the formation. It is a um, <clears throat> passive neutrals that we do have. Quite peculiar, to be honest. Um, uh, it, it really uh, resembles that the, um, the well, it really resembles that, that your contribution into those peripheral activities is completely unneeded and unnecessary as well. The, not, the um, neutral position of those couple of cards does point that the resolution of uh, these problems which the people are going to seek you for, or they're going to want you to be a participation of, resides beyond you know your capabilities not because you are incapable or anything but because simply like i said nothing depends on you it's not your current to go to go by but it is their current and sometimes you know there are situations in life that one needs to face on their own you do have such situation with the um 
seven of wands, which you're going to be, like I said, tested, you're going to be tempted. That is your situation and you have to face it on your own. That is the same thing about your friends, about your neighbor, about your uh, about co-worker and etc, etc. So the next card, it is the challenge. And that will be the Two of Cups. Now, the Two of Cups doesn't necessarily need to relate to love, okay? But I need to uh, as well divulge on the most, how can I describe it, um, logical explanation of this follow-up, okay, with the Seven of uh, Wands and the Two of Cups, is that this could be impossible love, where two people are loving each other, but still, you know, the circumstances are not exactly right, so they can be together, but you are getting there, right? And the challenge is to maintain that love, okay? So that is to be the challenge. But for the majority of you, Cancer, I do believe that the challenge has to do a lot with, with shyness, okay? Where uh, you are, how can I describe, uh, uh, too concerned for the opinion of the others, all right? You're too concerned if you do something, how people are going to take a look at you and how much they will want to associate with you as well. Now, you should be concerned less with uh, what those around you, especially those who, are, who never takes initiation and who never takes a participation thing. Uh, the wolf does not concern himself with the opinion of the sheep, all right? So be a wolf and do not allow the majority or the, yeah, the majority to determine your actions. Uh, additionally to that, in a more constructive uh, level, the Two of Cups, it could point that you may have a difficulty and it could be challenging to maintain the good environment into your, or kind of like the peaceful environment into your social circle and into your uh, career circle as well. The accompanied card here is going to be the Seven of Wands and uh, the formation, it is a passive neutral and simply uh, because your ideas with those that are associating, you are associating yourself with are completely different at that stage, okay? I'm not talking about like forever, but at that stage, you do have, like I said, your own agenda. They have their own agenda. This agenda does not cross us at this month. So it's it's time, everybody, to, to go by their own business. And uh, that's why you may have that difficulty to, to maintain the, 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 uh, the neutral and the good attitude into a, a career and relationship environment. No different than, you know, you are toiling a lot with very important endeavor in your life and suddenly a friend of yours calls you, they want to catch up with you, they want to hang out, but right now is your moment of action, like I said, you know, now, right now it's your, it's your window of opportunity and you, you simply can't devote that precious time of this window of opportunity to your friend and they get mad at you, you know, or kind of like they feel disappointed. So it's it's this kind of, it's such kind of a challenge here to maintain the good, um, or I like the positive attitude into your relationships, either into career or either into relationship, but it's not impossible. Only thing that you have to do is just don't be shy, you know, to divulge on why you can't do what you have been expected to do or what you have been asked to do. Uh, then what we have, it is the positive outlook and that will be the magician and my God, that is very, very powerful because the magician points that this month you are to establish a, a position of personal sovereignty. You're gonna make up your points, all right? You're going to, uh, how can I describe it? You are going to do the things your way, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. That is due to the fact that you are to exert your iron will, your determination. It's just your your actions are going to speak, all right? Your actions are going to be very influential as well. Not to mention that your communicational skills are going to be through the roof, man. And uh, it's, it's unlikely that someone will be able to take an edge on you in an argument or in a conversation or in a negotiation. So it's a very, very good month if you are a salesman, for example, when you want to negotiate terms of a deal and etc. etc. Or if you want to learn something, for example, or if it is a month where you try to initiate a um, you know a new project or a, a new relationship as well. But also what is good about the magician guys is that you're gonna be accepted for who you are. You don't have to hide behind a, uh, a, a, a felicious mask anymore, 
okay you just have to be yourself you are going to be appreciated and you are going to be taken for an example the accompanied card here is going to be the ten of uh, the ten of wands and uh, what the, this card points to the magician the formation it is a active uh, friends and it points that you're going to establish your own set of rules right your own world order if you want to say it that way and if someone wants to to have a taste of your luck and of your success well they have to obey your rules so it's it, it's quite a way take on a turn uh, in one's life especially if your life is rather scattered you know and it's it is very chaotic this month of july is going to be an opportunity where you set the things right where you fit the pieces of the puzzle together and uh, simply you know you, you you pretty much structure your life so your life can be successful from now on either career-wise or either relationship or why not both and the last one is going to be the guidance and we do have the uh, Knights of Wands. So what the card really points for you, Cancer, is that you need to be quite enterprising for throughout the month. I mean, you need to have, you will have the, this wall factor in, uh, in your performance. People will truly admire you. But that will happen only through the uh, determination that you are ready to, to do what it takes. Because the Knights of Wands, it's always ready to do what it takes. So you want to date that person? Well, you got to be ready to do what it takes to do so, all right? You want to be successful in your career? Well, you're going to have the window of opportunity, but you also need to be ready to do what it takes <clears throat> to be successful as well, okay? Things, the point with this card, guys, is that things are not going to happen on their own. You know, you're going to have the look of the draw here of uh, having your, your, your time, your moment, your window, but as well actions are needed. Now, luckily for you with the Knights of Wounds, you will have more than just one try. So don't be way too afraid, you know, to experiment and to simply to play with the situation itself. Because uh, it's, very, it's very important that you find a way that works for you, all right? So... <clears throat> For example, if you are an actor or you are about to become an actor, a drama, for example, may not be a thing for you, but look, comedy, it could be. So don't be afraid, like I said, to experiment and see uh, what is best way or best thing for you to push on forward with. And the accompanied card at the end is going to be the Nine of Pentacles formation. It is a, a passive neutrals that we do have. And with the Nine of Pentacles here, it's... Um, it looks like more of a substitution or a, a sacrifice that I would say. Um, how can I describe it? Well, it basically points that you should not stick to, um, to the orthodox way and to the orthodox methods. All right? While the, or the orthodox methods may work, they may not be as fast as you need to be to take advantage of this uh, window of opportunity. And additionally to that, it points that um, simply <clears throat> what is a success for some, it may not be success for you. So do not try to replicate. It is what these cards are pointing. But like I said, try to find your own way to uh, make a, a breakthrough. So that being said, Cancer, this was your monthly tarot reading for July 2019. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.